The next example, we're going to go through some color matching. The first example I have for you today is called uh, harmonizing with uh, a neural filter. Now this is this is still in beta. But I'm going to show you, this is what it will look like. This is, I'm putting two images together. So I want to match this model that I have a cutout of to the, the background, which is obviously much warmer than the model. So using the harmonize, I'm going to show you what the harmonize is going to end up looking like once we're done. So this is the finish, okay? So I'm going to turn that off and then I'm going to go to this demo folder and I'm going to show you how this is going to work. So here's my model. I'm going to select that model layer and I want to match the model to the um I want to match the model to the background. And I need to get rid of this bar up here because it's in my way. Oops. I'll just bring that down. Um so I go over here to filter, and then I go to the neural filters. Now, if you haven't played with any of the neural filters yet, let me just give you a quick highlight on neural filters. The neural filters are set up to where um, you can turn them on. You'll see a couple different types of neural filters. If they have the word beta next to them, that means that they are not total production yet, but you can still download them and test and play with them. If they don't have the word beta, then they're already a filter that's considered in production. And then over on this tab, you have a list of wait list ones that you can, you can put your two cents worth in as to whether or not you think you would like them to move to beta. Um, and so you can read about them. And if you think that's a, a neural filter you'd be interested in, you can click on the uh, I'm interested in it and you'll get a dialog box up and you can put a little comment into to Photoshop to Adobe and tell them why you would like that to become a beta a, a neural filter. This particular one I'm going to demo for you is a beta filter. I've already... I've already turned it on as a beta that I use that I would like to use it. Yes. And so I'm telling it that I want to use the, the harmonization and the layer that I want to harmonize um, is the uh, model. And so it's going to go through and it's going to harmonize that model with the background, didn't do as good a job that time. And then you can, um, let's see, the reference image. Oh, the reference image. Okay, no, I'm clicking the model and I'm harmonizing it to the background of this uh, this background image here. My reference image is the background. And you'll see how, because I was clicked on the model, I'm, re I'm harmonizing it to the background. And you can see how it took and it warmed that model right up to match the warm tones that was in my background. But it also gives you additional sliders that if it was a little too warm or I wanted to make it a little warmer or I wanted to bring the strength down, I can still fine tune those adjustments a little bit. And then I can click OK. And it'll return me back to um, the layer. This thing's really slow while we're <laughs> while we're in Zoom, and it brings me back with a smart object. So I can always go back into the neural filter again if I want to if I want to tweak it again. So that's how you color match using the new neural filter.